Good morning. This is Nathan Axdorf with Career Services. I am the Assistant Director of Career Education. Today I'm talking about from study abroad to career. So many of you are considering doing a study abroad experience while you're at Michigan Tech. And why is this important? And what sets you apart from your peers when you do study abroad? So first of all, it's a fantastic experience. I myself uh, studied abroad when I was in my master's program and then I actually lived abroad through the Peace Corps. So I myself can advocate for why it is important, but from a career standpoint, why is it important? Well, employers want students with international experience. The reality is we are a globalized world at this point. And so with you knowing more about the world, about the globe, foreign language skills that only makes you more competitive and sought after with the employment community. So I just mentioned foreign language skills attract attention. Absolutely. That's something that can pull you ahead of someone else in uh, an interview. Because if you're able to speak, for example, Spanish or Chinese or German, that can really pull you ahead of someone if they need someone in their office who has foreign language ability. And also transferable skills. And some of you might be asking, what is a transferable skill? Well, we have a whole list of them. So the first one is leadership. So it might not be something that comes up immediately in your head, but if you are abroad and you are leading something, or you are organizing something, that could transfer into leadership. So for example, let's say you started just a, a coffee hour abroad with all the different um, international students, including yourself. That's showing leadership. You know, you were organizing that, you were taking charge. That transfers very well into a career. Also program administration and information management. Those are two things Depending on your study abroad experience, you could be getting skills in those areas. Uh, however, that is, those are more specific. Mm -hmm. However, creativity is happening all the time in a study abroad experience. So you have to get creative, first of all, how to communicate, especially if there is a foreign language barrier. You, you need to know how to be creative, to make things work, even if you don't have all the pieces. Also, your interpersonal communication skyrockets. So this is your opportunity to show what you learned when you were abroad. You have to communicate with others. You have to move past any sort of communication barriers to get your point across. And that is so useful in your future career because there will be times when you need to communicate your point to someone um, or you're in a crisis situation and you need to step up. On top of that, there's personal development. So this, this one's pretty obvious. You grow when you are uncomfortable or trying new things. And for many of you studying abroad, this is probably your first time doing that um, or going to be doing that. And you develop yourself, whether that is through um, your ability to work with ambiguity or um, just at adapting to a new culture. So this is your area to show how did you grow and why is that important to your future employers. Also cultural competency, your understanding how different cultures work and um, the cultural norms that are in that society. Maybe you don't agree with those, those norms, but at least you can recognize them and potentially start to see why is that the norm. Um, and then all of this leads to studying abroad can enhance your cultural awareness. It can increase your independence. It can help you function effectively with ambiguity, recognize the power of diversity, and then also adapt to a new culture and environment. And all of these are highly sought after in, in the job field because these are all things that you need to be able to do when you are in the workplace. So we'll talk about resumes a little bit. 
Transferring your international experience to a resume is not difficult. And on the next slide, I'll show you what I mean by that. You're going to place your study abroad information under the education section. So typically you study at a university abroad um, and you can add that university underneath Michigan Tech and then whatever program that you were doing. And then if there was some really life-changing experiences, you can add those in another section on the resume. So for example, if you had an internship or a job or, or something like that, you'll probably want to expand on that in another section, such as professional experience. Here's an example of what my resume looked like. So I did the Peace Corps in Ecuador. I have where I was, what I was doing, um, certifications that I was awarded, and then also my language level by the end of that experience. And then in another section, I had, this is from a previous resume, I had my study abroad experience from Germany. So I have two bullet points right there that you can read. If you have translation experience, include that. That's very, very important. That is a heavily sought after skill. If you have leadership experience, include it. That is, again, a very sought after skill in the workplace. The resume is your chance to, to reflect on your experiences abroad and to locate transferable skills and put them in your resume. So everything that you're doing in study abroad could somehow be translated back to your resume. The same goes for cover letters. So this helps you express the true value of the experience. Resumes are more concrete, whereas a cover letter can flow. Utilize the job description and the company's words. So the job description is your rubric to create your resume and cover letter. Utilize the language that the company is, is using on their website. So if they're using several different buzzwords, include those words in your resume and cover letter. I'm not telling you to lie about your experience because if you don't have the experience, don't put it. But if you do, or it's an experience you have in just a different way of saying it, utilize those words that is absolutely valid and actually preferred by different companies. And then promote your transferable skills too. Show what you learned and how you're using them. Here's an example of my cover letter. This was again when I was teaching in Ecuador. So use the cover letter to expand on your experiences. Tell a story. Storytelling is very powerful, and this is your chance to do that in a cover letter. And then show the results. This is your chance to show what happened abroad and that you reflected on it and that you understand it's important to be doing things and reflecting on them, especially in the workplace. If you have any questions about any of these topics, such as resumes, cover letters, interviews, or salary negotiation, and more, please connect with us at Career Services. You'll see the link at the bottom of the page is how you can sign up for an advising appointment. We have about 40 hours a week of advising across several different people, so please reach out. We can also help you find co-ops and internships, where to find them, how to apply for them, and why they might be a good idea for you. 94% of the recruiters at Michigan Tech say that a co-op or an internship is essential to get a job after university. And it doesn't stop there. Study abroad can also be included with that statement and so can undergraduate research or graduate research as well. So connect with us if you're interested in finding more about careers that are domestic or abroad. We also work with students who are trying to work abroad after they graduate from tech. And then we have our career fair on September 23rd and 24th this year that will be virtual. So please join us for that. It's two full days where you can meet with recruiters one-on-one -on -one, uh, and see what they have available. Like I said, my name is Nathan Axdorf. I'm the Assistant Director of Career Education here at Michigan Tech. You have my email, my phone number, and then also our website. Thank you so much.